Hey guys, Fox Green back here again, and this time I'm looking at the Navrish SSP1. As you might know if you're watching my channel, this is my primary gun. Um, I have it in its original state here. I like to use it with the CO2 um, mags. Now, what we're doing today is we're looking at the installation of the short stroke kit. Essentially, this aluminium lightweight short stroke um, upper is going to make the gun cycle and be uh, a lot faster and be a bit more responsive. The way in which it will work is that it won't quite lock back the full distance when it's firing. So it's a shorter stroke. Um, but for CQB and all that kind of um, fast paced gameplay, this will up your trigger response quite a bit. So it's well worth um, doing um, if that's what you're interested in, in using it for. So. This uh, upper was 55 euro on an average shop. Um, it's got some nice cutouts, cutaway bits. Um, it looks pretty good. One thing to note here, guys, is it doesn't come with the the fiber optic front and rear sights. So I'll just be putting my standard sights on my SSP back on this. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take apart the gun. So as you know. We're going to lock back this, it's in the same location as this nub. Uh, we just push it through the pin and we'll take it apart. So we'll do this pretty quickly, we'll take it one apart pretty fast as I expect you know how to do that. So we'll put those pieces to one side. Take off the upper, um, we, we don't need the lower so we put that away to one side for the time being. Um, so first thing we want to do is we want to take out this. So what we need to do essentially is pull this guy all the way forward. Now what I like to do is, I like to um, take it out to the left hand side, you see that? It doesn't seem to come out any other way but to the left hand side, so we take out the spring and we take out that little guide piece. Now, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to take off the rear sights, so you need a flathead screwdriver, so we'll, quite, we'll just stick this in and get off our sights. Now, these sights off, we'll just put those pieces to one side. Now all I'm using here guys is a flathead screwdriver, a, um, what looks to be about a 3 or 4 mil Allen key and then two small Allen keys, they just need to be very small, I'll show you why in a minute. Um, so with that off, we'll then use this 3 or 4 milliliter um, Allen key. So all we're doing here is we're removing this uh, nut on the back. And guys, important to remember this is a blowback gun, right? a lot of recoil, a lot of vibration. When you're done putting it back, I've got the Novrich uh, maintenance kit here. Really good for anyone with any gun, right? Um, it's got lots of lubricant oils. It's also got like medium strength Loctite glue, which is what I'll be putting back on this nut when I essentially put it back. So I'm just going to keep taking this guy off. It's quite stubborn because I've opened this gun before and I had put Loctite on it to secure it in place. So it's good to know that that was working quite easily it's coming out now so that screw we we'll put to one side again now with that off we should be able to slide off our back sides there you go and then this whole assembly will when we take out the barrel now let me just show you the barrel comes out by simply sliding it all forward it comes all the way out like this slide it forward like that, barrels out. Now this little guy will all come out. Now be careful, this little spring will fall out. Now that spring essentially look, just sits here, so it's not a big issue, but we can put it to one side. Now you can see my gun's got a little bit of dirt on it. That's to be expected. Um, we now must look at taking off the front sight. Now the one thing to know about this front sight is this is an absolutely tiny Allen key. This is like a half mil Allen key. Not a lot of people would have this size of an Allen key, guys. Okay, see this tiny little guy? I think he'll do the trick. So, this tiny, tiny Allen key needs to. Out will come that very small Allen key nut. Now, be careful you don't lose that. With a bit of pressure, you should be able to shimmy this out to one side and get it off. I'm pretty much a brute with all my guns, but I don't break them. So there you go, that's your standard stroke upper, completely dissembled, taken apart. 
Now all we're doing is doing things simply in reverse, but there is a few little bits, so make sure you stay tuned that are a bit unusual. So we'll obviously just start in reverse with the sides first, so let's stick those on, make sure and put the white bit forward. Not much good if we don't. Now guys, you actually got to make sure you centre this because the front side is adaptable so you can put it anywhere, but I'm just going to perfectly recenter it. I find this SSP very accurate and that you can actually shoot uh, quite accurately at range with it. So that, is, that side looks to me to be pretty much a lion's dead centre, so that's good. That's the front side in. Now, with this, guys, if you want, as you go, you can give it a little bit of a clean. Now, as I said, I got this little maintenance kit. What this includes is some mechanical oil, uh, machinery oil, so that's for like the sliding parts. And then you got a tick and a lot and a heavy silicone oil. And you've also got this lovely uh, medium strength Loctite um, glue. So I'm going to use the tick silicone, the glue, and the mechanic oil, mechanical oil. So I'm just going to give these parts like a general little bit of clean, clean because as you can see, there's going to be quite a lot of dirt and grime on these parts. Um, uh, that bit of flying out, that's okay. Just take these pieces out. Give everything a clean. It's good to do this every now and again anyway. Pretty much after every game. Same with SSG. So with that done, I'm going to put thick uh, silicone oil on. I am simply just going to apply this around the little rubber seal inside here. This will simply just give it a little bit of lubrication. Just a small amount, it doesn't need to be massive. Give it a rub around, put out maybe another bit on this side. Um, so, and then just simply insert this piece back in. There you go, it goes in that way guys, that little piece up there. Just move it back and forth so you can feel that becoming loose. Then what we do is we just drop this screw, or this spring, sorry, right back in place. Just sits there, it's quite happy to be in that position. And then what we need to do is, sometimes when you push this in, the spring might pop up. So, so there you go, see the way I got that sitting like that? And we'll just simply lay that guy on there. Now, don't, I like to put it on a little bit and just leave it hovering off. You can't push it all the way in without putting this rear sight in, you see. Before pushing that all the way in, you just want to slide this rear sight back in position. Now, slide that guy in, like so, and then you push this piece up into position like that. So you see that's all in? Now, I like to put in the Allen nut on the back first. At this point, guys, right, this is where we do use this, so I almost forgot, but I will make sure I use some now. I'm going to put a little bit of this on this screw. So just apply a little bit onto the screw, maybe a little bit more. Great. And we'll screw this guy in all the way then. Now, you only need a little bit of glue to stop it uh, rattling free and rattling loose. Okay. Keep going with this, it's quite a long thread, you'd be surprised, you think it won't go in that far, but it will. Keep going till it stops, till you cannot go any further. Same with this guys, we're going to apply a little bit of the medium strength Loctite to this screw. Pop it in here for the rear side. And similarly, we're going to screw this guy in. So. Again, with the rear side, you don't actually need to line it up. It only sits in one place. Uh, it's not adjustable, like Navarrete said. It's only the front side that's adjustable. Um, okay. That is that mechanism back together, and it's running nice and smooth. Spring should be pulling that guy back, which it is. So, that's good. That side we can leave to one, to one side now. Now this guy's right is actually made of two pieces and this is where these two little allen keys come in. We need to separate them out. How we do that is we'll stick both allen keys in like this and we'll just twist till it comes apart. Now it's loose, I can sometimes it'll be quite tight, so that's why I use the allen keys. 
and um, it'll just help. Now, with that apart, I'm going to take off these little washers. We no longer need these, so they'll just go to one side. And with your kit, it should have uh, what should have come is a load of little discs, uh, rubber and metal ones. So these go on in a very particular order, and it starts with rubber first. So we'll stick one rubber one on first. Now they're quite tight, um, push them all the way in. Then we'll go metal, and essentially so on, so on. Rubber, metal, rubber, metal. It should end with, start with rubber on the inside and end with metal on the outside. So you, that's how you know you've got the right amount. I'll show you this up close when they're all in. Four rubbers, four metals, okay? So with that done guys, I'm going to add a little bit of Loctite to this. Um, just a tiny, tiny little smidge, very small amount. Uh, just leave that down. Now we're essentially going to kind of put the gun back together. So I like to start by putting the barrel back in. Now you got to make sure, right, when you push this in, you'll notice that a little gap will open up. So you make sure you push, um, you push that back. So right back like that in so it's in here so you can see there's a little bit of play i like to push that right back then we'll insert this so this is where the order is actually different you'll notice uh now what we actually have to do is we got to put our spring on this and it can be quite tricky but we need to essentially push this through okay so that's now in there guys and this is where the different part comes. You have to then insert this guy in and try and get it to feed through to get to that point. And then what I do is I shove it all forward like this and I twist this guy. All right? So now what you'll find is this is where I will use an Allen key. So you'll see that the spring will kind of get in your way so stick him in first like that that's the better way and then stick this one through so what I can this will now allow me to do is I'll be able to keep tightening it until it's fully tightened so as you can see like it's a little bit finicky but it's not impossible now there you go that's fully tightened you can then take that guy out take that guy out and I know my Loctite is going to hold that in place. So guys, that is kind of the upper assembly kind of put back together. So I got my sights on, I got everything back in. So it's literally just a case of sticking this slide back on as you normally would. Sometimes a bit more force than it did originally. Slide this guy back and you're essentially dropping your pin in. Now, what I didn't do here to show you, so that is essentially a short stroke kit in. Now what I didn't show you here is I would generally put a bit of oil just inside here on the mechanism so that the sliding becomes easy. So now that that's back together, um, let's just do a quick function check. That all works. No BBs in it. No BBs in the chamber, all clear. Put the mag in, quick function check. Yeah, it's locking back. So everything looks good, so that seems to be functioning. Now what we'll do guys, just out of interest, is we'll just do a kroner test to make sure the gun is actually performing as it should. Okay guys, so I've got 0.25s in the gun, which is on the chrono. Um, Ireland has a one joule limit, so let's just see what this new slide is doing in terms of FPS. So let's just see what we get here. Okay. As you can see, we are under the juice. Okay, so I think from that we can conclude that the gun is predominantly shooting under the jewel like I wanted to from my modification video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. Um, looks like this slide is working as it should. Thank you very much.